the science is clear, there's sound reason for grave concern. It's a thing that could undo us all, and destroy life. It really puts the uh, ownership of food and uh, seeds into a few hands and concentrates a focus on using pesticides. Why would we want to poison ourselves by eating? They haven't been tested on humans. And me and my friends, I don't want us to be experiments and like later on in life figure out that suddenly we have all these health problems. Those remind me of um you know, some of the mistakes that we've made in the past, like uh, introducing DDT and, you know, other toxic pesticides uh, in, the, in the 50s and before the long-term health benefits were understood. So much about the moment you start to feel the weight in your heart. We have a technology here that's not understood and we need to pause and, and um, prevent it from in infiltrating our food supply. I'm convinced that there are very real health issues attached to GMOs and that um, we as the uh, popular consumers have been denied access to the, the studies that would uh, divulge that in detail. At the end of the road, at the top of the hill, the whiskey flows. I really feel that it's a health issue, primarily. I also think it's a sustainability issue. I also think that it is a social justice issue. When I see the inequity that is going on in the world at the hands of companies who are willing to sacrifice humanity for their bottom line, uh, that's what makes me really want to fight. The biggest concern to me is the lack of science showing the long-term effects, especially on humans. And some of the new studies coming out are showing that there are impacts on fertility, which as a young woman who wants to have children really concerns me. Um, there are two studies, one out of Austria and one out of Russia, both showing that animals fed GM food had lower um, fertility rates, they had fewer offspring, smaller offspring, lower survival rates, and so as humans, we're in the first generation of consuming GMOs, we really don't know what the long-term impacts on our species are going to be, and that's a huge concern to me. Well, to me, you know, I think the most important thing the project is uh, is doing is um, making sure that consumers have a have a choice that they can avoid uh, GMOs in their uh, products, and that they know uh, there's a verification process uh, to avoid contamination since it's um, so prevalent in our environment. You know, I'm hoping that the project will also educate people about the whole issue, and uh, I'm convinced that if people truly have a choice they will seek out non-GMO um, products. As a consumer, it gives me the ability to avoid GMOs so that I don't have to be a guinea pig on a new science. On our website, you can see a list of all the enrolled products and also the non-GMO project verified seal is appearing on packages. So when you're in the store, you can look for that seal and know that the product has met best practices for GMO avoidance. Mm -hmm.